In this video, we'll be talking about routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of whole numbers. So let's start with this problem, a routine problem. Routine problems are those problems that has an immediate solution, just like this. Who won buys 25 books? That costs 52 pesos per book. How much did he spend? So, how will you know the total amount spent by Juan? So, what operation are we going to use? So, we are going to use multiplication. So, we will multiply 25 books by each uh, cost. So, 25 multiplied by 52 which serves as the 52 pesos so let us use mental solving because this is a 2 by 2 digits so to find the ones place let's multiply 5 times 2 that is 10 so we'll put 0 and carry the 1 then to find the tens place we cross multiply 2 times 2 is 4 and 5 times 5 is 25 then we get the sum it will be 29 then let's add the carry so 29 plus 1 is 30 so we put 0 and carry the 3 then to, to find the hundreds place we multiply the tens place 2 times 5 is 10 and then add the carry 3 so it will be 13 and so we have uh, 1,300, but since this is in peso, so we'll put the peso sign. So all in all, who once spent 1,300 pesos? Let's have another one. A routine problem. Pedro earns from his work at 350 pesos per hour. If he works 8 hours a day, how much does he earn each day? So to solve this, we will use the operation multiplication because each hour is 350 and he works at 8 hours. We will multiply 350 by 8. So let's multiply. 0 times 8 is 0, 5 times 8 is 40, put 0 and carry 4, 3 times 8 is 24, plus 4, 28, so it is 2,800, and since our unit is peso, so we put the peso sign, so it's 2,800 pesos. Now how about this? A non-routine problem. Non-routine problems are hard problems. They are very difficult problems. They are complex problems because it doesn't have immediate solution. It needs creativity and analysis to solve it. There's no fixed solution for these problems. But there are many possible ways to solve it but it's even hard to find one. So it's up to the one solving on how they will discover the solution. So let me show you an example of this. Just like this. There are 30 animals in a farm. Some are cows and some are dogs. If there are 100 legs in all, how many dogs and how many cows are there in the farm? So this is another uh, kind of non-routine problems that involves um, multiplication. So if usually these non-routine problems are solved using uh, trial and error. So by using trial and error, you eventually find the answer by keeping multiplying 4 for number of legs per cows and times 2 for the number of legs per dogs until you'll get 100 legs but although it takes a lot of time to do it 
but for some cases you can find shorter solutions to find the answer actually the answer for this is 20 cows and 10 ducks so let me show you how I solve it and you may also find your own way to solve it but let me give you an idea on how I did it so first is you will assume that both ducks and cows have only two legs it sounds weird but yes you have to assume that so that whatever is lacking that will be for the number of cows so there are 30 animals multiplied by two legs so all in all there are 60 legs now of course there will be lacking because you assume that cows have only two legs so the total must be 100 so let's get how much is lacking so 100 minus 60 so that will be equal to 40 so that means there are 40 legs lacking again it's because you assume that there are only two legs for cows so you you lack two more legs which is actually the 40 so this 40 you will divide this by the lacking two legs of the cows so that you will know how many cows in all so 40 divided by 2 it will be 20 so 20 is the number of cows so since you know that there are 20 cows and we know that there are 30 animals in all so 30 minus 20 is equal to 10 so there are 10 dogs so let me give you a similar problem so that at least you can you will have a chance to find the answer with my at least you may use my own solution or you can find your own way so let's have this non-routine problem with similar uh, which is similar problem with the previous one so Pablo has 40 coins some are 1 peso coins and some are 5 peso coins if he has a total of 108 pesos how many 1 peso coins and how many 5 peso coins does he have so try to think of how can you solve it of course you can do trial and error by multiplying 1 and multiplying by 5 up to you uh, such times that you will get 108 pesos and it's all in all 40 coins but for sure it will take a lot of time now let me show you the answer for this there are actually 23 1 peso coins and 17 5 peso coins so let me show you how I solve it so similar to the uh, animals problem so I assume that all the coins are 1 peso coins so that means these 40 coins will be multiplied by 1 peso because I assume that both coins are 1 peso coins so all in all it's equal to 40 so it's 40 pesos so I intend to do this so that whatever is lacking it will be all for the 5 pesos and it's easier for me to find how many 5 peso coins are there so the total must be 108 so it's lacking uh, 108 minus 40 is equal to 68 so it's lacking 68 so 68 pesos it will be divided by how much you you lock for the five peso coin so since you assume that five peso is only one peso so there is four pesos locking so we'll divide it by four because that is the amount that we removed from five because it was supposed to be five and you assume it only to be one so it's locking four 
So 68 divided by 4 is 17. That means there are 17 5 peso coins. And since we know that there are 40 coins in all, so 40 minus 17 is equal to 23 1 peso coins. Let me give you another problem, a non-routine problem. So this problem has a figure. The figure below shows a weighing scale that is perfectly balanced. If the value of each box is 27, what is the value of each cylinder? So I will not give the answer yet so that you will have enough time to uh, think it over. So if you already have the, a the answer, please write or put your answer in the comment section so that I can check if, if your answer is correct. So good luck and have fun solving this problem. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.